Webinars will make a huge impact on your business. And if you're just getting started, then this video is for you. I'm gonna go through a complete webinar tutorial from beginning to end, and it's made exactly for beginners. So stick around, it's Click Meeting. Hi, and welcome to the Click Meeting channel, where marketers like you tune in for tips to grow with webinar marketing. I'm Owen Video, I'm your host, and in today's training, I'm gonna show you a complete webinar marketing tutorial designed exactly for beginners. Even if you've never done a webinar before, this video was made for you. We're gonna go way more in depth on some of these topics later on on the channel, so be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss a thing. In this video, we'll show you how to schedule the webinar, how to invite guests to your webinar. We'll show you how to host the webinar. We'll show you how to get clicks to your webinar and we'll show you how to send the webinar replay to your viewers. If there's another topic you wanna to hear about in the future, be sure to let us know in the comment section below. Before you get started, you're gonna need a reliable webinar software to help you execute your webinar. To do that, go to clickmeeting.com and set up your free trial. Once you've set up your free trial, you'll land on the schedule page here. And you can see that I've got some statistics from some of the past events that I've done. And we'll go more into your webinar statistics and how to measure them in a future video. And you can see a list of my permanent events here, plus my on-demand events. Now, on-demand webinars are really, really effective, and we'll get into that in a later video. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is schedule your event. And it's really important that you schedule your event before you have all the details planned out, right? Because if you wait until all the details are planned out, you'll never schedule it. So schedule it first so that you have a deadline to work towards. And to do that, you'll click on that button here. And this is the main brains, okay, of your webinar. This is where you're going to invite people. This is where you're gonna get your URL. And in this first step in scheduling, we're gonna focus on the details, registration, and appearance, leaving these other two options for later on in the video. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is give your webinar a name and your name should be snappy. Like for example, how to dominate your industry with webinars, something exciting. And you can see it's created for you a custom URL down here. The next thing you're gonna do is pick your room type. Now, right now you're gonna pick a time scheduled webinar, but you've also got these options for a permanent webinar, an automated webinar and an on-demand webinar. These are fantastic tools that ClickMeeting provides all of its members. And these tools will allow you to scale your webinar result. Let's keep moving. You're gonna pick the date and time of your webinar by clicking here and you'll have a calendar option to pick a date. Now I'm just gonna randomly pick the 18th and let's say that I wanna start my webinar at 2 p.m. in the afternoon, you notice I've got 1425 right here. And how long is the webinar going to be? We're gonna go with one hour and 30 minutes. And I'm gonna click accept. You'll notice the change happens here and what time zone it's in. So be sure to pick your time zone and make sure that it's in the right time zone. When Click Meetings sends the emails out to invite your guests, it will change the time zone for your guests to make it more convenient for them. Now you're gonna pick your access type. You're gonna select open to all. And what this means is that anybody who registers can get to the webinar. Using the password, the token, or even setting up a paid webinar, these are great features, but we don't wanna use them as a beginner. These are for more advanced users. Now with ClickMeeting, you can actually set up a toll-free number so that your viewers can dial in and listen. There are some additional charges for that. It's a great deal if that's something you wanna do. For right now, we're gonna keep that off and we're gonna go back up to our menu and click on the registration page. The registration page is the page where your viewers will come to type in their name and email and get access to the webinar. So with ClickMeeting, you don't need a third party landing page program and you don't need to set up a separate landing page or registration page in your website. That makes this software very, very convenient. The first thing that we're gonna do is turn on our ability to customize the layout and content. As we continue to scroll, you can see that we've got our logo down here. You've got the date and time of the webinar and you've got a place to add fields. They've included for you a register button and you've even got some additional text fields here 
to help sell your webinar to people that land on this page. You can customize this page on the right hand side using the fields area here. By simply dragging and dropping, I can add additional fields here and I can edit them. For example, I may wanna ask my viewers what industry they're in. I'll click on the edit button and I'll put industry question mark and I can either mark it required or not required. I'll click save and now I'll know what industry they're in. I've also created more of a balance between the different fields on this form. Here's a bonus tip for you. Keep your registration page short. The fewer questions you ask, the more registrations you're going to get. I can also add checkboxes, multi checkboxes, and radio buttons. Down here, I can get really creative by clicking other, and you'll see that a variety of options now present themselves to me. And I can add presenter info. This is phenomenal if you're going to co host or do a joint webinar with somebody. You can simply click add new and add a new presenter. You can also add an agenda for the event and give your viewers a preview of what they're going to hear on the agenda. I think it's fine to add some of these items so long as you don't overwhelm your viewers. Now that we've set up our webinar room in the details section, we've created a registration page in the registration section. Now we're going to create the customized appearance of the webinar room in the appearance section and we'll be ready to invite our first guest. You'll notice in this section here we can add a custom logo and you can pick your main brand colors. But you also have the ability to pick a customized background image. Notice the background image here. You can see the camera back here and sort of this blurry light and there's this woman in the screen here. I've picked an image. I believe it's this image here, but I could easily swap it out for this image and you can find an image that best suits your business. So find Find the image that best suits your business. I'll put over here camera and I could pick any of these images here that best suit my business. So this theme will go across my webinar registration page and also populate inside the webinar room where my viewers will actually be watching the webinar. Now I'm ready to invite people to my webinar. So I'm going to click create and invite. And this actually saves the work that I've been doing as well. So it's a good idea to click that before clicking anywhere else in the website. So now your webinar is all set up. You've got a landing page where people can register for the event and you've even customized your webinar room so that your viewers have a branded experience. Now let's get people to your webinar. To do that, we go to this page here where it says invite people or view details of your website. This will take you back to the webinar registration page. So I'm gonna click invite people. Now it's gonna give you the option to pick attendees, people to attend your webinar or presenters. So if you've got a co-host or somebody who's gonna MC or introduce you, you'll invite them with a presenter link. But for everyone else, you're gonna present them with an attendees link, so click that. And now you have a variety of options that you can use to invite people. The first is copy and paste. With copy and paste, you can copy all of your email contacts and enter them in here. This might be an okay route to go if you have some people's you know, emails that you want to go ahead and type in here manually, but generally it's, it's not super effective. You can also search for past invitees which is the same for my groups and past sessions. But if you're a brand new beginner, the best thing for you to do is to click this final option here, copy details to a clipboard, where you can now create your own emails, your own private messages, and invite your people to your webinar. Now that we've copied our webinar details, we're ready to invite our audience. And to do that, I'm gonna create a Google document, and this is where I'm gonna keep all the information about my webinar. I'm gonna paste my invite information right here. So this is these are our options for inviting people to the webinar. I can give them a direct link. I can also give them a phone number. You know, you'll notice they're not 800 numbers. You gotta pay extra for that. But you do have phone numbers that, that you can give your, your people. They can log in with their phone. There comes with a, it comes with a PIN number and then you can have them join via the mobile application. For highest attendance rates, you're just gonna wanna use this link right here and you're gonna wanna share this out on your Facebook page, in your groups, on your Instagram, via email. However you know to invite people, wherever you have audience, you're gonna use this link to invite them. Now, here's what they're gonna see when they click on this link. If I wanna see what they're gonna see, I have to open up an incognito window, and then I paste the link to the webinar here, and boom, here is the registration page that you just set up a second ago. And you can see I've got four fields here. 
to capture registrations and a big fat register now. So this works perfectly. Okay, so at this point, you've created your webinar ecosystem and now you've invited all of your guests and they're being registered. Now you wanna prepare your webinar room so that when your guests come into the room, you can present them with a very professional looking webinar. Here's how you do that. First, click on this link using a regular window. You don't need to go incognito. To do that, you'll sign back into Click Meeting and scroll down to My Events and you'll click on the edit button here. You'll be presented with the option to either start your event or prepare your event. We're gonna click prepare your event and now you're in the webinar room. Notice at the top you have a basic menu bar up here where you can record your event and you can even choose the language that's displayed on all the menu items. The right hand toolbar tells you about your attendees and you can even invite attendees right from here. Here's a look at your presenters, who's in the lobby, and you've even got a chat bar down here. Now the chat bar is really cool because whenever somebody asks a question using a question mark, Click Meeting will recognize that it's a question and highlight it like this. We'll come back to this later. Here you You've got the ability to turn on your microphone and your camera. And in this area here, this is your main area where your presentation will display. Now, if you've created a PowerPoint or a keynote that you want to present to your viewers, you can share that two different ways, either by sharing your screen and then streaming your screen to ClickMeeting or by uploading the presentation directly to ClickMeeting and simply using the ClickMeeting interface. Let me show you how that works. Inside of ClickMeeting, you'll simply hover over presentation here and you'll see this window where you're able to upload a PowerPoint or keynote presentation once that presentation is uploaded you can simply click on it and it will appear in the main area here and you have the ability to flip through the slides without ever leaving the click meeting interface now if you want to present the PowerPoint on your computer and share the screen you can do that as well. Let me show you how. On the left-hand toolbar, simply click on screen sharing, click on open in browser, and you have the ability to share your screen through a browser or through the app itself. We're gonna pick through the app itself because this way, you don't have to click around on a whole bunch of windows. Now, there's a lot more features inside of Click Meeting that you can take advantage of, but let me show you the most important feature you need, and that is the call to action button right down here. And if you don't see it, you can scroll up and down this toolbar here. The call to action button is a banner that lays on top of the screen that your viewers can actually click on to be sent to your buy page where they can buy your product or service. You can customize this in this area here. So you might want to say, get started today. You can change the button to say like enroll now, I always like to put the price in there. So you might want to put like for 49 or whatever the case might be. Then you put the link to the registration page right here. You can time how long you want this displayed. And then I can actually change the way that it looks as well to give it an even more distinct, more fantastic look. When I've landed on the design of the CTA, I'll click create and you'll see it appears here at the top of my screen no matter if I'm screen sharing or if I'm sharing a presentation, it will appear on the top screen of the bar here to help you close more sales. Wow, we covered a lot in that video. You learned how to set up a webinar in our easy all-in-one interface. You learned how to invite your guests to the webinar and you learned how to host the webinar from within the Click Meeting interface. Now you're ready to host your very first webinar and you can click on the link that's on your screen now to get a free trial of Click Meeting and set up your very first webinar. Now, if you'd like to continue your education and learn even more about how to set up automated, evergreen, and on-demand webinars, then watch this video that's on your screen now. In this next video, you'll continue your training and learn even more about how to master webinars for your business. Thanks for watching. I'm Owen Video, and I'll see you in the next one.